So here we have some work instructions. You can see I've got some product families, descriptions, revisions, and so forth, operation numbers. Uh, over here, some materials, some notes, and down here, some approval dates and so forth, and, and uh, signatures, electronic signatures here. So this is this particular process here. I'm just going to save that, and then I'm going to close out of this. And let's say back on the actual process itself here, someone decides to make a change. Maybe they say, well, we'll stack the parts uh, after the cleanup. So we'll move that up here. And maybe we're going to take some work content from the previous station and put it down here. Right, so we've moved a couple of items around on this stack parts. And we're going to do an update to the uh, to the uh, work instructions. Now the work instructions, like we're currently in revision 5, and the process is in revision 5. So we go to the summary here. And we click on the work instructions. We say we're working with the format, the work instruction here. We open up. We select revision 5 here. And then we just click on the OK. And it's going to kick off the uh, the process. And it's starting to move the things around here. So we'll let it finish and then we'll see what happens here. Here's the stack parts. You notice all of the notes and so forth are also in there. Is it putting together the update here? So it's preserving the, uh, the notes and so forth as it goes from one revision to the other. Anything at the top and anything at the side is left the way it was. Upon completion, we come back here. You can see that it preserved all of the header information and all of the sidebar information that was in here before. That has not changed. So just like uh, we've been describing in the process through here, any number of rows at the top, you can do whatever you want with. Any number of columns at the left, you can do whatever you want with. We will preserve that as we move from revision to revision. You can see we're now on revision 6. You can see here's the load part that we moved in. And down here we've moved the activities around here to give you a stack parts at the end, just like we had said we did back in the process here. So it's moving that. It's preserving all of the supporting information that you might type in once. And it's just manipulating the data coming from the process in the body of the work instructions here. So again, this gives you an excellent way to save a tremendous amount of time uh, updating and maintaining your work instructions.